Uh, today we're going to be unboxing a mystery rifle that I got from a Flying Dragon Air Rifle from Mike Melnick. Uh, I really don't have any idea the rifle I even bought, okay? But I paid $100 for it and he tuned it for me too. So I figure, what the heck, I might as well get this thing. As far as I know from what he told me, it's a variation on the uh, Xisco XS25. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Get it unwrapped here. I didn't get out this end. So let's see what's in this big old long box. Okay, so here's what I got, and it's uh, like I say, he tuned it for me and everything for a hundred bucks shipped. Now, I'm not really into this style of rifle, but, you know, what the heck, for 100 bucks, it's what I like to call tactical. So let's take this thing out and take a look at it. So, It's actually packed. They, they did a really nice job of packing it. Nice styrofoam packing so it doesn't rock around a lot. Of course, you know, the uh, information. What is it? They say it's uh, Artisan Air Guns. Now, I think that Artisan might make a couple of PCPs, but I didn't have any idea they even did the brake barrels. Of course, this isn't a Zisco. Let's take it out and look at it. So, has a fiber optic front sight. Looks like it has a weaver rail up in front. It has the weaver rail in back. Uh, it's, it's a polymer plastic. Let's see if it, how this works. Looks like there's a button there. Oh yeah. Stock slides out. So I can get the slide back in. Slides back. Slides out. It looks like it has a... Looks like it has an adjustable cheek rest. Oh, it does. So you can adjust your cheek rest up and down. The little knob here, I'm not sure what this little knob does. Has fiber optic front sights. Or... Front sight, fiber optic, rear sight with uh, windage and elevation. Now he says this is basically an uh, XS25, and they just put it in a different stock. But you know what? What the heck? For a uh, hundred dollars, I ain't gonna bitch too much about it. Of course, with Mike's guns, when he tunes them, they all shoot pretty good. Uh, We'll have to wait and see how it shoots. I wanted to show it to you. So anyway, uh, I'm going to grab a pellet. I got a pellet trap sitting across the room there. So we're going to load it up and shoot it once just to see. Okay, I'm back. So let's see how this thing cocks. Well, it cocks really smooth, so he did a pretty good job as far as that goes. Take it, put us a pellet in there, and we're going to shoot it one time. Just to hear the cycle. Now, it looks like you need to be careful right here when you close that barrel, because it looks like you might get pinched. So, you just have to be real aware of that. Safety's right here, just like on the standard Exisco. Okay, I'm going to shoot it into that. I'm going to shoot it into that trap I got sitting there. Nice trigger. So, anyway, I just wanted to show it to you. Let you see what you think about it. Uh, he kind of wanted me to show it to everybody and see what they think about it and see if there might be a market for these. So, I'm going to show it to you real close. And I'll take some pictures and stuff of it afterwards, too.
So I'm going I'm to shoot one more just to see that, that caulking cycle again and show it to y'all. I mean, this thing's tuned, boy. It's, it's just like all his guns. When he does a tune job on them, that caulking cycle is like really smooth. Yeah, definitely got to watch that pinch point there. And okay, we'll shoot it one more time. Not my style of rifle. I'm not into the tactical, but you know, for a hundred bucks, we'll see how it does. I'm really curious to take it out and shoot it. And I'm sure that if it shoots as good as the other guns that I've got from Mike, it's going to be a great gun. Thanks for watching. And uh, after this, I'm going to take a couple of close-ups of it uh, so you can take a good look at it.